So right here, I'm gonna show you some basic function of the Trimble X7. As you can tell, we've already taken 10 scans. We are currently, by 10 scan, we shot it right there. And what I've done is I've placed it into the garage here at the Texas facility. As you can see, we are missing some points in this bay area. So what we will do is we are going to choose a time Two minutes has a lower amount of points, which is 12 million points. Four minutes has 58 million points. And seven minutes has 125 million points. For this size room, we're gonna do a four minute scan. What I'll do, I'll click four minutes, and I'll come right here and click start scan. The Tremble X7 will start to blink blue, and we'll do a rotation. And then after that, it will begin to spin for a solid four minutes. After the scan is complete, it will do a full rotation on the 360. And then it will turn green, showing that it's complete and that it is safe to move the tripod. Now that it is green, I will move it over to the end of this building. We'll click start to begin our next scan. As we just started our next scan, we are now waiting for the current one to download, and then we will connect it to scan 10. Currently, scan 11 is auto-registering to scan 10. As you can see, scan 11 auto-registered to scan 10, and now we have more points in this room. Scan 12, we have placed right here, and that will allow us to scan more points right here and shoot into the next room so we can connect scan 12 to scan 13 which will be in the next room. What we want to do is come down here and you want to make sure that it auto registered correctly. We always look at the door jams and make sure nothing is out of place. Now that we've scanned we can click 3D mode and we can visually inspect the building. Just circle around, make sure all the walls line up, make sure nothing looks out of place. Next step would be to power up and set up the scanner device. This would include operating the proper software. This might include setting up a proper name convention, setting up a proper resolution or type of scan including what features may need to be included within the scope and making sure that the scanner is ready to operate. Once the scanner is powered on, take time to allow it to calibrate properly. This may take some time. Letting the scanner power up and load properly is crucial to making sure that the scans are accurate. Once it's up, you can select through the menus and you can select what is needed. You can check what content is there, what content remains to be scanned, uh, confirm that the, the data gathering device is in there so that your storage is in there properly and also making sure that you're at the proper resolution and the proper measuring device. The scanner is fully set up. The scanner can be set into the proper position in order to scan from. Typically this can be done in doorways in order to get the proper amount of tie-in scans to get the content needed. Once the scanner is in position Calibration can be checked to confirm levelness and position. Next, the scanner can check to make sure they're getting the content they need. Once the scanner is ready, the scanner can hit go on the scanning device and run the scan. scan has been started or finished, the scan operator can mark the location on the field notes, uh, noting the location of the scanner within the provided floor plan. This will be used later in registration and will help communicate where the position of the scan was initially taken and can therefore be used to figure out the position that the scanner was done in and thus be used for registration.